Hi there, this is your Country Coach Guy. Welcome to my channel. Today's project is we are replacing four AGM lead acid batteries with uh, new lithiums and hopefully uh, this will be just a, well, this will be a first stage. We'll have a couple more things to do. But the idea being that we're gonna pull out these old heavy 170 pound lead batteries, which are down to about 8.2 volts right now this morning and 245 and per hours when new right now that's not even half of that and we're replacing it with the 300 uh, amp lithium each so giving us uh, more capacity but more importantly uh, the drain if lithium should go down to 8 volts should not be a problem we just need to recharge them and they will be good as new while these old ones have been damaged and that's why we have to replace them so hopefully we get to keep the cabling because these seem to be rather heavy-duty cable cables and we are not going much higher in amperage so from 245 to 300 so so we'll see what my electrician says if these are useful I would just like to keep them keep them if possible to kind of simplify process because there are other upgrades we're gonna to have to do but from a cabling standpoint uh, I'm kind of hoping that these these will do and we don't have to we don't have to replace them so so stand by and uh, check it out All right, so the first leg of our installation was actually successful. We managed to replace the batteries and got them all connected. And it also fixed another issue. Inverter was awakened. We disconnected house batteries and we also disconnected the chassis or engine batteries for about 15 minutes. And that was enough to reset the uh, inverter after we installed the new house battery so inverter was uh, able to recognize that the batteries are good about 12 volts and reset itself so now i have a 110 volt inside the coach so it was a good day so about two and a half three hours into it uh we got the new lithiums installed so but there's more there's more work to be done this is not this is not we're not done so there's a couple of more projects we need to do one is we need to install the cutoff switch because of the cold weather charging to prevent the lithiums from getting damaged uh, charging below 32 degrees and we also need to install a uh, DC to DC charger because the the alternator that is producing uh, it's not producing enough voltage uh, right now it's pushing about 13.4 I need more of a neighborhood of 14.2 to 14.6 so so it looks like we need to do a uh, DC to DC charger and that may kind of complete this project. But right now the batteries are in and so now we're going to do a little testing and see how they hold the charge and, and how useful they are. So, so thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel and follow us uh, to the part three and, and see how this all gets fully installed. Thanks for watching.